Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys for more Atlanta Falcons news. Let's get straight to it, man. It's a lot of news for me to cover, so you guys stay patient with me. Um, in an 11 on 11 situation on third down and long with rookie Avery Williams, he ended. Uh, he ended the period jumping the route for a nice interception. So um, this kid is really um, looking like he wants it. Um, I'm just, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic for him. I'm going to go into detail later on as far as like a video, do a video on Avery Williams. But at this point, this kid really wants it. And I'm absolutely ecstatic to see him do his thing. Um, when you look at, the next guy, you know, Calvin Ridley. Um, Calvin Ridley is obviously one of the better players and on the Falcons team, and he's looking like he's going to come back and really, you know, take over for what, you know, Leo Jones is. He left the Falcons with, all right? Calvin Ridley is ready. He is that guy in Atlanta, and he's looking like he's ready to be that. If you haven't seen the clip, you know, him <laughs> pretty much breaking Byron's, Jones, I mean, he broke this dude legs, back, everything. All right, the dude is just absolutely amazing when it comes to route running. And look, the fact that he's doing this to one of the best, better defenders, uh, better defenses um, on in the league, the Miami Dolphins. Look, man, I'm Calvin Ridley might put up some big time numbers here, this year, and I'm talking about 14, 1500 with 10 plus touchdowns. This dude has every, he have every aspect. Uh, when it comes down to being a playmaker in the NFL. Now, I know a lot of people would say whether or not he's physical or not, but, I mean, he can he can improve. He's still a solid receiver, but he definitely has some room to improve, man. So, uh, when you look at, when you look at uh, Calvin Ridley, yes, he can be that guy. But, <laughs> well, a little bit of bad news come down to Atlanta Falcons. Um, players, um, you know, the receiver, I, I don't know exactly. I wish the lid knew who it was, but Matt Ryan was picked off on a far away field goal. Um, picked, um, not field goal, but far away. Um, D lid is just so weird with his wording, but um, <laughs> a wide receiver bobbled it and the safety came over the top to snag it. Um, so Matt Ryan did throw an in interception, but it wasn't one of those issues where he threw a bad pass. A lot of these receivers um, are just not catching the ball. Um, and this is one of those situations where, you know, receivers got to catch it. Simple as that, you got to catch it. Um, and um, the next story that I have for you guys is Isaiah Oliver. Now, I know a lot of people have heard me say this time and time again. This guy is going to be a Pro Bowl. And... You know, at this point, he has not lived up to that. But when you talk about his ability, man, this dude is already, we're talking about almost back to back. Um, we, we're talking about almost, uh, he picked off Matt Ryan one time, and then you have you playing against the Miami Dolphins. And the Miami Dolphins, he picked off another pick uh, of Jacoby Brissett. So when you talk about Isaiah Oliver, one of these defenders that we're looking at to take the next step, Isaiah Oliver is already, he, he's proven that he wanted. He wanted, he's hungry, he want to get an extension, um, you know, on his contract so he can be with the Atlanta Falcons. Just essentially make some money. This is what you want to do. So he's exerting himself as a defender that wants it, whether he plays safety or he played that slot corner position he is that one he's one of those guys that definitely is um ready to take the next step and being one of the better defenders on this atlanta falcons defense and i'm telling you guys right now if isaiah oliver continue to be you know as, as, as you know to continue to improve this defense is going to be definitely something to watch out for and i'm telling you right now when well, you got Deion Jones, four-year Olakun, these guys are already, you know, playmakers. You add another guy and Isaiah Oliver to the mix. Look, man, this Falcon defense can really do some special things. So when it all comes down to it, man, um, DMPs again. Uh, this is another tweet, but uh, like this is just, you know, DMPs ain't messing around with these dude. He's sending a lot of different pick pressure packages, and I told you guys before. He is a guy who will not sit around and just let a quarterback do whatever the hell he wants to do. He's going to get after it. So when I'm talking about, when you're talking about getting, you know, pressure, 
and you know having a you know that one or two guys that's going to get to the quarterback look man all of that is fine but if you don't have a defensive coordinator who understand that he can't just solely rely on those two three guys to get after it it makes the defense that much dangerous all right you gotta affect the quarterback you gotta continue to give quarterbacks different looks in the nfl these guys are way too smart these all these coaches are way too smart they will figure it out at some point so when it all come down to it man i'm absolutely ecstatic with this falcons defense on where they're going i want to know what you guys think about this man dean pease is just making this defense look so much better all right this has been another atlanta falcons news update let me know what you guys think about this your boy man mike is out man peace